morning. Welcome to St. Philip's Church, Jacksonville, Florida. It's good to have you here with us this morning on this, the first Sunday after the Epiphany, which is more commonly known as the Baptism of our Lord. We encourage you to go get you a little bit of bread and wine so you can join us, and we'll get started. Be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed, and blessed be his kingdom, kingdom now and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on peace, peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Father in heaven, who at the baptism of Jesus in the river Jordan proclaimed him your beloved Son and anointed him with the Holy Spirit, grant that all who are baptized in his name may keep the covenant they have made and boldly confess him as Lord and Savior, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen.
Genesis, first chapter, first through fifth verse. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light, and God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was the morning, the first day. Psalm 29, please read responsibly after the asterisk. Ascribe to the Lord, you gods. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the, the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters, and the glory of the on the glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is a powerful voice. The voice of the Lord is a voice of splendor. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf. And bound her like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord splits the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the oak trees rip. And strips the forest bare. And in the temple of the Lord, all are crying holy. The Lord sits in throne above the flood. The, the Lord, Lord sits in his throne as king forevermore. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Christ. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, there is one more powerful than I is coming after me, and I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, you are my son, the beloved. With you, I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, you, Lord Christ. Lord Christ.
Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come as the wind and cleanse. Come as the fire and burn. Convert and consecrate our lives for our great good and for your great glory. For Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Mayor. Well, boy, this day has sure turned out differently than I expected it to. I've seen the best of what we could be as a people in Georgia. And I have seen the worst of what we could be as a people in Washington, D.C. <laughs> and it's hard to put those two things side by side. Uh, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on them. I might refer back in a moment. But we need to pray continually for our leaders because they have a big job ahead of them and it's not going to be an easy job so keep our leaders in your prayer well we read once again tonight about the baptism of Jesus I think that's the third time in the last two months we've read about Jesus' baptism. There must be something that's really important about it. In the past, I've always talked about Jesus' baptism as being a sign of Jesus' solidarity with us. Jesus comes down, takes on human flesh, goes to John at the Jordan, and is baptized by him. Now, if he is, as we claim, the sinless one, he didn't really need to be baptized, didn't he? He didn't have anything to confess like the rest of those folks that were at the Jordan. But I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, and I wish, I wish Mother Pauline was out there because when I say this, Mother Pauline would, would, would shake her head yes. Because we all know, don't we, that Jesus was a little boy at one time. And you show me a little boy that doesn't get into devilment, that doesn't get into trouble, that doesn't sin. I just don't think there is one, do you? But that was the level. That was the depth of Jesus' identification as a human being. I am fully human, therefore, by Scripture, I should be baptized with you. And when we read that lesson and what it says, it's amazing. When he was baptized by John in the Jordan, and just as he was coming up out of the water, and here's the part, here's the part that I want you to listen to. As he was coming up out of the water, the heavens were torn apart and the spirit descending like a dove on him. The word that is translated Torn apart is the Greek word, and you all know that I'm getting this from somewhere else. It's not from my knowledge of Greek, 
or being able to read the New Testament in Greek. No, 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 I'm getting this from somewhere else. The Greek word is schismonus. It's the same, it's the same word that we get the word schizophrenic from. The same root word. Yeah, if I think about a schizophrenic person, I think about a person whose personality is what? It's torn in two. They, at times, seem like they're one person, and at times, they seem like another person. And we all know that that's a terrible place to be. That's a hard place to be. Well, the heavens, when the dove came down, when the spirit came down, the heavens were torn apart. That thing that was between the heaven and earth was broken wide open. And the dove came down. In the series of books that came out a number of years ago that I started reading a little bit about and then decided that I wouldn't read it nor would I see the movie that was made from it, from them, that series of books that was called, okay, here we go. Here goes my mind again. But I know where I can go find it, see. I know where I can go find it. The Left Behind series, that's what it was, and it made a big splash in a lot of, a lot of folks' minds. Well, when we think about how that book talked about judgment coming down and how for those that were of God it was okay, but those that weren't of God it was horrible. The heavens were torn open and judgment comes down. There's something really wrong with that picture. It's a really lousy picture. Why? Because it's based on fear. It's based on the fear of God. And God is not a God of fear. God's a God of love. God's a God of love. And so when the, the heavens were torn open, it wasn't like judgment coming down, but rather it was more like that dove coming back to the ark with an olive leaf, saying that the flood was drying up, that God still loved his people. And that's what the ministry of Jesus was all about, isn't it? That's what it was all about. Another thing that I read preparing for this said that in Mark's gospel, and I, I could have this all wrong by one or two. Mark uses the word immediately. Jesus immediately. Or somebody else immediately. There was a sense of urgency. Mark didn't start with a birth narrative. Mark didn't have time for that. Mark thought that Jesus ministry was of immediate importance. Mark uses immediately 43 times. That's not a lot, is it? That's not a lot. 
It's only two more times than it's used in all the rest of the New Testament. And, you know, the New Testament compared to the Old Testament is not a real big. There's a lot more in that Old Testament in terms of pages and words and all that stuff. You know, it's like Brother Dave Gardner said, I know what's on every page of every book that's ever been written. Somebody said, you do? He said, yeah, words. Well, in the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, immediately what you used as many times as Mark used it in any one little book of Mark. Amazing. To Mark, this ministry that Jesus started was urgent. It was urgent. Now, Mark starts out with the Old Testament announcing the coming of, of announcing that it's coming. This is not this is not something that is unexpected, but it is going in a direction that nobody really looked for. And the spirit comes down. The heavens are torn. They're rent asunder. I mean, think about that. Think about taking a piece of cotton, an old shirt. We've all done it. We needed a rag for something. And we tore it asunder. Well, that's what happened. And the Spirit came down on Jesus and anointed him. And God said, this is my son, my beloved. And then, and then Jesus goes off on his life's work. He goes off and he begins his ministry. And that's all he does in that whole book of Mark. That's his whole life, his ministry. Guess what? Each one of us were baptized. And each one of us, if we were baptized in the Episcopal Church, we were baptized here, and then we were sealed by what? The Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Forever. Our lives, our lives as Jesus' life then becomes a life of ministry that we learn how to live in it. And we do it all kinds of different ways. We do it all kind of different ways. Somebody out here's got a camera, somebody over there is behind the piano, somebody over here is wearing a nurse's outfit. All of us, we all do it different ways. But it's all ministry. And it's all intended by God to be for God's glory to do one thing. That's to bring the kingdom of heaven to earth. And that's just exactly what happened when God rent the heavens apart, sent the Holy Spirit down on Jesus, and baptized him with the Holy Spirit. He brought the kingdom of heaven to earth. And we're part of that kingdom. 
we're part of that kingdom. And we each have our part to do in that kingdom. And don't ever think, don't ever think that what you do is not important. It is. It's of eternal importance because we are of eternal importance. Been a crazy day. Oh, it's been a crazy day. But remember, as you look at the chaos in Washington that went on this afternoon, as you look at the chaos that goes on around us, as you look at all of that, remember that Holy Spirit came down from heaven, alighted on Jesus, flesh of our own flesh, in order to bring the kingdom of God right here. Not off out there somewhere. Right here. Jesus himself said it, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, where? On earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Peace. 
Let your gentle spirit be upon this nation and upon all in authority, that we may share in your work to bring forth justice upon the earth. God shall give strength to the people. God shall give us the blessing of peace. Let your prophets speak powerful words of repentance and transformation to the ends of the earth. That the breath of your creative love and the sound of your blessing may go forth throughout the world. God shall give strength to the people. God shall give us the blessing of peace. Let your grace descend and dwell among the people of this community. That we may be united in love, abounding in compassion, and proactive in peace. God shall give strength to the people. God shall give us the blessing of peace. May your heavens open and your spirit descend upon us, bringing your comfort and healing to all for whom we pray, especially add your own petitions, please. Hear our grateful thanks and praise for your manifestation of presence and grace in our lives and in the lives of others. Giving thanks especially for, please add your petitions. Welcome with your divine pleasure all who have died especially, please add your petitions. That they may have a place in your eternal domains. God shall give strength to the people. God shall give us the blessing of peace. Gracious and loving God, you have anointed your people with the waters of baptism and have made us your beloved children. Let your spirit spread mightily among us that we may share in the work of your Son, bringing blessing and light to all the world in the power of the Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And always with you. Peace. 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 Ha, as always, it is good to be here this morning, as I said earlier, and we want to remember two people who have birthdays this week, Curtis and Garrett. Let us pray. Oh God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray, on your servants as they begin another year. 
Grant that they may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen their trust in your goodness all the days of their lives through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us with gladness present the oblations of our life and labor to the Lord. Holy 
and gracious Father, in your infinite love, you made us for yourself. And when we have fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you, in your mercy, sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit. To be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also, that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. These are the gifts of God for you, the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. As we say the prayer for those of you particularly who are at home. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving as I proclaim your resurrection. I love you above all things and long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you in the sacrament of your body and blood, come spiritually in.
sing to my heart. Cleanse and strengthen me with your grace, Lord Jesus, and let me never be separated from you. May I live in you and you in me, in this life and in the life to come. Amen.
sister Arlene's mother is in the hospital in ICU. Please keep her, Arlene, and the rest of the family in your prayers. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us the spiritual food in the sacrament of this body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace. Grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen. Let us go forth rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Thanks be to God.